Hello everyone, welcome to the new chapter on pressure. Now before we proceed any further, uh, let's recall a few things that we learned previously. First we have W equals mg, and the SI unit for weight is newtons, the SI unit for mass is kilogram. Also note that the SI unit for force is also newton. Uh, because weight is the is an example of a force, so they share the same SI unit. Density equals mass over volume, and so the unit for density is gram per cm cube or kilogram per per meter cube. The SI unit for mass, sorry, the unit for mass is either kilogram or grams, and the unit for volume is meter cube or cm cube. Also note that the unit for SI unit for area is meter square and other units are cm square. So you need to recall all this to proceed further. So for a start, let's explore uh, what the idea of pressure is. Now I'll ask this question. Now how can a force from a finger push through the thumb tank? push the thumbtack through a notice spot and yet the straps of a school the straps of a school bag doesn't cut through the shoulders of a child now we explore the child carrying the school bag first now we notice that the straps of the school bag is relatively white as you can see here the straps are relatively white and the area of contact between the straps of the school bag and the shoulder is relatively large. So we can say the weight of the school bag is exerted over a large surface area of the shoulder. But however, in the case of a thumb tag, now if you observe the tip of the thumb tag, notice the tip is very pointed. And technically, the area is actually very small. And when you push the thumb tag through the notice board, the area of contact between the pin and the notice board is actually very small. And hence, the force exerted by the finger is actually over a small area. So from here, we introduce the idea of the pressure. And the diagram on the right is actually a simplified illustration of pressure. We have force F exerted on the surface and the force must be perpendicular to the area in contact. And this leads us to pressure equals force over area. Do note your force is perpendicular to the area. And the SI unit for force is Newton. The SI unit for area is meter square. And therefore, when we have Newton force over area, that will give us Newton over meter square. And the SI unit is Newton per meter square. But uh, this, this uh, scientist known as Pascal is noted for his experiments with a barometer, which you will learn later on. And because of that, we name the unit for pressure with his name, Pascal. So essentially, Pascal and Newton per meter square are essentially the same thing. But uh, when you solve problems, do take note. Sometimes the area is given in cm square. Sometimes it's in mm square. Now, there's no need to convert to SI unit unless the question specifies so. So you can express your unit for pressure in newton per cm square or newton per mm square take note that the area that we are referring to in the formula for pressure must be the area of contact between the force and the surface so explore this idea of pressure using two more examples First, we have a box of size 10 cm by 15 cm by 20 cm rests on the surface. Its mass is 1.5 kg. 
calculate the pressure that exists on the surface. From here, we know pressure equals force over area, but we need the force first. And the force is actually the weight, and so we need to calculate the weight first. So we have weight equals mg, that is 1.5 times 10 equals 15 newton. And from here, we have pressure equals force over area. That's equals to weight over area. And that is 15 over 15 times 10. And this 15 refers to this one. And this 15 refers to this one. And hence we have 0 0.10 Newton per cm squared. So this is your answer. The pressure that the box exerts on the surface. In this next example, we have a water tank of size 1.2 meters by 1.4 meters by 3 meters filled with water up to a height of 1.5 meters. Calculate the pressure that the water exists on the base of the tank. We take G is equals 10 newton per kilogram and the density of water be 1000 kilogram per meter cube. Note the pressure that the water exerts. So that means we are interested in only this volume and that will be 1.5 meters exerted over this base area. So how do we calculate from here? And that will be we need to find the mass of the water first before we can find the weight of the water and then calculate the pressure. So using density equals mass over volume, we have 1000 equals mass over 1.2 times 1.4 times 1.5. So the mass we have 2520 kilograms. And once we have the mass, we can calculate the weight equals mg, and there's 2520 times 10, and we have 25200 newtons. And from here, we can calculate pressure equals force over area equals weight over area, and that will be equals to 25200 over. Now, note this is the area that we are concerned with. So it's 1.2 times 1.4. And that will give us fifteen thousand Newton per meter square. Now I also take note, take note that uh, remember in the earlier slide, Newton per meter square is essentially the same as Pascal. So, you also can express your answer as in 15,000 Pascal. Both are accepted. Both are accepted. I want you to remember this water tank diagram because we're going to use this to further explore how we're going to derive another formula that will lead to the barometer. For now, uh, this, will be the, this will be the end of the introduction. Bye.